Okay, so our third section is talking about waxes and triacylglycerols. So uh, these are the first forms of esters that we find in our bodies based off of our fatty acids. So waxes are an ester of a saturated fatty acid, so what we've just been talking about in section two, and a long chain alcohol. So a, a sterification reaction that we've learned before between these two long chains, one carboxylic acid, one alcohol, together. Each of these are um, approximately 14 to 60 carbons long. 60, I said 60, 30, 30 carbons long. Um, so these are pretty large molecules um, for, for the waxes. So what these look like, let's pick a fun color. What these look like is you're going to have your fatty acid, which then, so the end of the fatty acid has that uh, carboxylic acid, right? That is going to do an esterification reaction with an alcohol. So I'm going to have our alcohol and our fatty acid come together, make an ester. Um, so an example of this, so in our abbreviated form, an example of this, which is actually beeswax, is um, having our CH3 at the end and having CH2. We have 14 CH2s, so 16 carbons total in that fatty acid it derived from. And then we have our ester and then our alcohol, which in this case has uh, CH2 again, and then we have 29 of them, and then the CH3 at the end. For some reason, when I get to the edge of my screen, it does those wiggles like that. But so that example, for example, is beeswax. It's our pretty long, um, but we have two really long saturated fatty acid chains with a saturated alcohol chain. Um, all pushed together into that ester. So that's all we're really going to talk about for waxes. Make sure you can identify what they are, and we'll talk about triacylglycerols in the next video.